Hey guys, it's Danny here from Disrupt Tutoring and as always it is a pleasure to join you. In this video we're going to do a question from the November 2018 Grade 12 Physical Sciences Paper 2. This question deals with an experiment to perform an esterification reaction. The test tube contains a straight chain organic acid X, ethanol and a catalyst. It is placed in a water bath and the water is heated over a Bunsen burner. We're told that the organic compound Y is produced according to this equation. The first question asks us to give a reason why the test tube is heated in a water bath instead of directly over the flame. Well, the test tube contains an alcohol, ethanol, which is quite volatile and flammable. So heating it directly over the flame in the presence of oxygen could lead to uncontrolled heating and combustion because the flame of a Bunsen burner can get very hot. And placing it in a water bath ensures that the heating is even and gentler and more controlled. So you can keep an eye on the substances in the test tube and make sure that no dangerous reactions occur. The second question asks us to write down the type of reaction that takes place, the formula of the catalyst needed, and the homologous series to which compound Y belongs. So firstly, we know that this is an esterification reaction because it is a reaction between an organic acid, an ethanol, and a catalyst. And this type of reaction is also referred to as a condensation reaction since the two compounds become one. Uh, the catalyst that is used in this reaction is sulfuric acid, and that has the formula of H2SO4. And since it is an esterification reaction, we know that the product formed is an ester, which is compound Y, and that means that the homologous series to which compound Y belongs is the esters. Okay, so we're then told that the molecular mass of compound Y is 144 grams per mole and the empirical formula is C4H8O. Question 2.3 asks us to determine the molecular formula of compound Y. So the empirical formula shows the smallest ratio that the elements can exist in, but that is not necessarily the exact number of each of these atoms in the molecule. The actual molecular formula will be some integer multiple of the number of atoms in the empirical formula. So to find that integer, we're given the molecular mass of compound Y, which is 144 grams per mole, and that number will also be an integral multiple of the empirical formula mass. So if we find the empirical formula mass, we can divide the molecular mass of compound Y by that, and then find the number which the empirical formula must be multiplied by to get compound Y. Okay, so let's find that. So for C4H8O, you can find those masses on the periodic table, and the empirical formula mass is 72 grams per mole. Okay. And we can then divide the molecular mass by that empirical formula mass. So the mass of compound Y is 144 grams per mole, and dividing that by 72 gives you 2. So that means that each of the numbers in the empirical formula must be multiplied by 2, giving us a molecular formula of C8H16O2. And then the next question asks us to write the IUPAC name of the compound Y. So since we now have the molecular formula, we can tell what the original reactants were because we know how they bond together to form the ester. So one of them was an ethanol, which contains two carbon atoms. And that means that there are six left over for the uh, carboxylic acid. So um, this, the, the ethanol, the C2, will form the alkyl, and that leaves six carbon atoms for the carboxylic acid, which is then the hexanoic acid. So the IUPAC name of the ester will be ethyl hexanoate. Okay, and then the last question asks us to write down 
the structural formula of the organic acid X. So now it wants us to draw the structural formula of the carboxylic acid, which we have determined to be hexanoic acid. So we can draw in six carbon atoms and then also the functional group on the first carbon atom. So we can go H3, C, CH2, 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 and one final CH2 before we write our first carbon with the oxygen, double bonded, and then the alcohol. Okay, so this is, although it is a condensed sort of structural formula, um, please bear in mind that the, the hydrogens need to be drawn around the carbons for the full structural formula of the acid. Okay, so before I go, I'd like to say a very special thank you to our EPIC sponsor for making this video possible. Read all about them in the description below. Be sure to visit our website for more of these EPIC tutorial videos. If you can't find the answer to your question, you can send us the question and we'll respond with a personalized video just for you. Until next time, stay epic.